Hamas. Good morning. Uh, so it's from one marketplace to the other. I just heard uh, the pitch from Gaurav uh, with regards to rental equipments. And ours is, a, is another marketplace uh, which I'm going to talk about. But f first up, what do you do when your TV breaks? Something happens to your smart TV. Everything's connected today uh, and the world's getting more and more connected. So something happens, um, some technical glitch happens and the next thing that you know is that you're trying to figure that out yourself, you're trying to fix it, and spend hours and hours on, on the TV trying to fix that problem, and then you, your online search begins. And you go into the online uh, sites, wherever you can find the blogs, look for that specific problem, and see if you can find a solution. By the end of all these things, you'd probably spend, a, uh, spend hours and hours, and eventually you would switch back to the biggest advertiser who is providing service, services in your area and you end up pay, paying for, you, for the marketing budgets that he spent on advertisements which gets his attention right up at the street, right? And that's basically um, what we go at. What we do with Wistips is, is to solve that problem of having service providers connect to users who are experiencing these problems um, at their houses or at their businesses. So what's the problem, right? If you want access to a particular skill today, knowing where to start is absolutely overwhelming. And a market is super fragmented. So you've got an app for this, you've got an app for that, there's one for online, one, there's one for offline. And, and, and you get lost, you've got apps sitting in your mobile that you haven't used for a long, long time. It's a very familiar problem with all of us. Costs are also a concern in a market where, uh, you know, where the, the loudest advertiser is actually getting most of the businesses. Let's be frank, people are trying to solve these problems at home, in the office, online, in person. Um, there are a lot of app marketplace applications already uh, available. But we can only take the power um, or, or, or to the, of the on-demand economy and you can make it work if we get all these dots connected. And you can have a one-time one solution for customers, whether he's sitting at the, at the, uh, at the office or at home. Um, Ours is an on-demand marketplace, a mobile-first um, uh, on-demand service that provides a real-world and digital services enabling businesses and users, uh, and, and to have a one-stop solution basically for everything that he needs, okay? A user-centric experience um, enables you to post a service request for help for the most qualified service provider that you can find in your region based on location services. So based on the area that you're living in, obviously you can find who's the most qualified in that area based on the ratings that people are giving him. So you can see his ratings, the number of jobs that he's undertaken and, and make your own decision whether the cheapest would work for you or you'd have to have a balance between the cheapest and the guys who have done the most amount of jobs um, and got the highest ratings. Built-in features such as in-search um, um, messaging, um, you know, the, the photographs that you can exchange with regards to the problem that you're having, and then ultimately, the service providers will only win the job based on their reputation, uh, their skills, and, and, the, and the price that they are actually uh, providing the, um, the user. So where are we today? Um, this is a, this is a a market that we've uh, tested with um, early adopters in the UAE. So I'm based out of Dubai um, and in a market where it's pretty much community driven, we've got plenty of communities out there that are, that are using Facebook and other social media to actually reach out to service providers for their own areas or for their own communities. So we're testing that out in Dubai. We've done that um, over the last three weeks since the launch on the 16th of October. So in three weeks, we've had about 2,000 downloads and we've had about 150 odd service providers uh, signing up for our platform, which is great news. And we now need to get, into, get to the marketing stage of using social media to reach out to more customers and attracting more customers before we actually go out worldwide. Um, it's a $500 billion market that we're going after at the end of the day. It's a, it's a, it's a services market you know, per AMI. Obviously, we want to make sure that we actually uh, get to the market one step at a time. So we're using Dubai as a, as a launch pad with 192 nationalities living there in Dubai. It's a perfect launch pad. You throw something uh, at, at someone, it comes back in multiple forms. And that's basically what we're after. 
that's me and Richard, the two owners of the company. And I just want to start with a quote from Richard Branson, which says, succeed in, in business is all about making connections. We just, we just want to update that. And we say, succeeding in life is all about making connections. And this is what Wisdoms is all about, making connections with people all around the world. Thank you. Some questions. Thank you very much, Project. Judges, questions. We, we've only got about a minute and a half for questions, so. Uh, th yep. Thanks very much. Um, I've seen similar types of models in the US. Uh, who do you consider to be your competitors and what's your advantage that, that you see? Yeah, so uh, there's TaskRabbit, there's uh, a few others that, that are out there in the market already, but everybody looks at um, the segment where you're putting the service provider's pricing out there for customers to go in and, 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 and you know, take, take up their services. What we're doing is that we're moving the power to the user instead. So where we're saying the user decides what he has. So his budget is basically the first step towards making that deal. And today when you have, an, when you have a situation where people are losing jobs, budgets are being slashed, all those issues that you're faced up, you've got to get the user to actually you know, spend his money. And without that, uh, you're not going to get out of this rut of this global economy down in the trades. Thank you very much for the pitch. Um, a question on how do you attract users and service providers on your platform? What's your acquisition strategy? So we have uh, done the community marketing that I briefly touched upon, and uh, which is basically our road to market at, the, at, the, at this point in time. We are lo looking after specific communities where we are going and, and, and are using pamphlets and everything that we are sending out physically to get people to, to understand what kind of services we offer. And then obviously we're using social media to reach out to the masses. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.